Okay, um, so let's go ahead and uh, try this. So guys and gals, why don't you look up here? Why don't we try uh, this type of um, reaction where we're looking at, first off, what is the products of this um, equation, this reaction equation that we're going to, um, and in doing that, we will write the molecular equation. And then from there, we're going to write the total ionic equation and then uh, the next. So uh, this is one of these gas forming reactions. So if you have your textbook, it might be uh, useful to open up to the um, reaction section while you're looking at this, looking at me solve this, and look at the gas forming reactions themselves. Okay, um, so you're going to need to, um, what do you say, get it into your head which um, ionic compounds uh, will make gases when they react with uh, an acid, okay? And sodium carbonate is one of these compounds, okay? So just make sure uh, when you see sodium carbonate and see that it's reacting with an acid, you realize, okay, that's going to be a gas forming reaction, okay? And we see sodium carbonate. Um, and we had talked about one of the products of a gas forming reaction. Sodium carbonate, what gas do you think sodium carbonate would be forming? Carbon dioxide. That's all right, that's all right, but carbon dioxide. And you'll see this, we're doing this reaction today, you'll see bubbles form, okay? And you'll see that those bubbles will actually be carbon dioxide. But anyways, so we know carbon dioxide is gonna be one of our products here. Is everybody okay with what I'm saying? Okay, so if you want to, it might be useful to write that down right now, and we know it's a gas, so I'm gonna put it in to the gaseous state. We also know that sodium and Cl chlorine chloride, right, those are spectator ions that aren't going to react but we're going to pair them in the molecular equation. So you probably remember that from like doing sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, that reaction, okay? So we can write that down. And that's gonna be aqueous, of course, because we know that sodium chloride is soluble because we know our solubility chart by now. Okay, if we don't know our solubility chart, that's something we need to memorize. Remember we talked about memorizing the solubility chart. Okay, so go back and look at the solubility chart in your book, memorize it, it'll be very helpful for you going forward. Okay, so we can start balancing this to figure out what else we have left that we're gonna need, but what do we got? We got H's and O's, right? So what was gonna the what was gonna be the other molecule that we're gonna be formed? H2O. H2O. Very good. And that's gonna be a liquid, actually. Okay, so now what do we have to do? Balance the equation, right? Okay, so do you see that we're not balanced, right? Because we got two sodiums here, but only one here. So we put two there, two chlorines, well, we're gonna have to put two there. Okay, so H's we got two, two. O's we got one, two, three, one, two, three. C's we got one, NA's we got two, CL's we got two. Are we balanced? Yep. Okay, so this is the balanced molecular equation. Okay, this is, this is the first time you're seeing a gas forming equation. This is what we call the equation. Okay, when a gas is formed. So we're going to write molecular equation.
so what else do we want to figure out? The total ionic equation and the net ionic equation. So you guys remember when we were doing the total ionic equation, what do we do to all the uh, substances that have aqueous behind them? Separate them into their ions, right? Yes, the different species into their ions, okay? So, is it Na2? Is that how we write it? No, we take this 2 and put it as a coefficient, right? And it's not just Na, it's like what you said, Harlan, right? It's an ion, so it's going to be Na what? Plus. Plus, like that. Is everybody okay with what I've just done? And we're going to put an AQ behind it. We cool? Okay. And then we still have the CO3, right? The carbonate. So CO3, that's a polyatomic ion that we know, right? So what's the charge again? Two minus. You should know that from the anase. Two chapters ago. Since we're recording, I won't give you too hard of a time, okay? But it's AQ. And then we have AQ behind the HCl, right? So we're going to do the same thing. But this coefficient, that applies to both the H and the Cl. Remind, remember that, OK? So 2H plus, since it's an acid, we can do this. Okay. Aqueous. Remember, strong acids, they break up when we put them into water to their constituent ions. Plus how many Cl minuses? Two. Two, very good. Notice that takes up a lot more space than that one. NaCl, aqueous, so what are we going to do? Let's break them up, right? Cl minus aqueous. Okay. And H2O is a liquid. So what do we do with that? Are we going to break it up? No. Uh -huh. That's what the, the, uh, CL has oh, a it has a two. Very good. Yes. Sorry, I was concerned about the aqueous. <laughs> but yeah, the H2O we don't break up. And the CO2 we also don't break up. And we call this the total ionic equation, or TIE. Okay, and the net ionic equation, we just, if we see something that's on one side of the reaction and it's on the same as on the other side of the reaction, we just cancel them both out, okay? So you see here, 2Na plus aqueous, do we see that on the other side of the reaction? So we can just cancel that out. CO3 2 minus aqueous, do we see that on the other side of the reaction? CO3 2 minus oh. aqueous? No, no. no. So can we cancel it out? No. Nope. H plus or 2H plus, do we see that on the other side? No. no. Can we cancel it out? No. 2 Cl minuses? Yes. Yes. We can cancel those out. And there's our net ionic equation. We just bring everything down that we didn't cancel out. Okay, so what do we got? CO3. 3, 2 minus aqueous plus 2H plus aqueous. And that's it from the reactant side. And what do we have over here? H2O liquid plus what? CO2 gas. And that we call the net ionic equation. 
Okay, so again, right, you, hopefully you see CO2 there. That's the gas that we're talking about in the gas forming. Any questions on this one? Okay, good. Good job, guys.